Uh, it's a love poem, to be specific. <laughs> this is a love poem, a shy love poem, a sweet, beautiful love poem, a gentle, loving, sweet, and sincere poem, a nostalgic love poem, an endless and infinite unicorn type of love poem, an award-winning love poem, a standing ovation, round of applause three times in a row love poem, a snap to your fingers crack love poem, a gasping, mouth open, eyes wide, tears, breaking lids, cover your ears, kids, love poem about how I didn't give a fuck about you. I didn't love you. I didn't like you. I was manipulated into thinking that I wanted to spend time with you, but none of that was true. I just wanted a hand to hold, and you kept offering your ashy, bony, crispy fingers and cracked knuckles. I just wanted someone to hold me, and you kept spreading your arms and wrapping me in your pits. I must say it was a poisonous embrace. I didn't want you. You just kept calling my phone when I was home, alone and depressed, all at the same time. <laughs> you came around when I had no one or two or three or four to write about. And you stole my pen and put your name where the love poem began. And I just dare you to try that shit again. <laughs> Put your name here, sign along the dotted line of my wasted time and tick-tock your way back into the clock so we can rewind to a pure time when my love poems were about no one. To a time when my love poems were love poems, when they were shy, when they were sweet, when they were gentle, loving, and sweet, so, 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 so sweet and sincere, and they, they cared, were caring love poems that were nostalgic love poems that were endless and infinite and not as fitted or dark or depressing when they were endless and new and not about you. Wow. Yeah. Now I'm sure one last one with y'all. Wow. <laughs>